Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. It's me, Richard, with Real Men Craft 2. So, do you ever wonder, what pen do I use? Do I use this? Do I use scissors? How do I score my paper? Come back after the intro. I'm going to show you how I do it. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, it's me Richard. Sorry, I've got a mess on my hands here and you guys are gonna go, you guys are gonna think, what's he doing with all those tools? So, do you ever wonder if you should be using a single tip like this, a multi-placer like this, another single, another multi, this one is I believe a seven or an eight this is my favorite, the four. Here's a pair of scissors. Here's an X-Acto knife. I'm gonna drop the camera down here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now, you guys have to remember, I've only been doing diamond paintings for a little over two years. I've done over 15. One, well, a couple of them are real, were really, really, really big. They've turned out incredible. I love the result of them. Now, as I told you before in the previous video, and if you haven't seen the previous video, I'll leave a link right there. Uh, you can watch that on what tools you need. You don't really need them. These are just tools that I use. Uh, but back to my point, I'm not a professional here. This is just how I do it. This is how it, I make it easier for myself uh, it can be a slow moving craft. It can be a fast moving craft. However, I listen to music or I listen to an audiobook while I'm diamond painting. Uh, now in the other room, sometimes uh, Bruce will watch TV or he'll just listen to his tablet. He'll listen to a book. But yeah, there's always something you can do while you're doing a diamond painting. Sometimes you can't. A lot of people have to stop, really uh, concentrate on what they're doing. I don't make it that hard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop the camera down here so you guys can see what I'm doing, and then we're gonna get started. So let's get started. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I just wanted to make sure I was recording. So, as you guys can see here, I've got a bunch of tools here. Here's my diamond painting. Uh, I am finishing up the trick or treat, the Sam and um, my allergies right now, everybody are really super, super bad. So I'm gonna try not to cough. If I cough or sneeze, I will edit it out so you don't have to hear it and listen to it. But let's get into what I'm gonna show you. So let me turn on this. I suppose I unplugged it. Okay, so. You guys are gonna hear a bunch of crunch in here. This is my cellophane. But before I let uh, get going on what I do with all these tools, let's turn the light board on. I'm gonna increase the brightness. Now, you guys can see here that I've got one of the hand poured uh, pens. I've got more than one of these actually. I've got two or three of them, yeah. This one here is a seven stone placer or drill placer. On this side is the single end. This is my favorite one to use. I use this four right here. Now, and there's a single on the other end. You guys are gonna wonder, Richard, do I use the pink ones that come with the kit? You guys can really use any 
pen that feels comfortable to you. I like, like I said, I love this one. Um, I will try to remember where I got this from, but I have tried and tried and tried to remember you guys, and I cannot remember the guy's name. But if you see here, this is an X-Acto knife. Now, these things are extremely, extremely sharp. These are actually a fancy shaped razor blade. And what I do with this, I'm gonna try to zoom in here. Let me move my coffee so I don't spill coffee all over my um, painting. But I'm gonna show you what I do with these things. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Let's see if I can do this without moving my camera too bad. So you're gonna see this cellophane or you're gonna see a, a paper, a white paper that you can peel back and reveal your poured glue or your glue surface that you're gonna place your diamonds on. Now, I did this on purpose. I finished most of this line because I wanna show you how I score my plastic. Now, I'm gonna zoom you guys in here a little bit. and I'm gonna show you how I score mine. Now, like I said, you can use scissors. You can, uh, you can take your scissors and you can use one of the tips here and just score it that way. However, I love to use my X-Acto knife. Sorry for the shaking of the camera there. Um, yeah, so I like to use my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. This is just how I do it. This is not how you guys have to do it. Um, this is just how I do it. I take, a, I, I take a ruler. You can use any straight edge you want. Now, I usually will go completely across from one end to the other and score the plastic. But I wanted to show you guys how I do it. So, I am left-handed. So I work from the right side of my canvas and I work right to left. Normally, if you're right-handed and you're a diamond placer, you know, that works with their right hand, you would start at the left side and work this way. It's just so you don't have to drag your hands through the glue or the placement of your stones. However, like I said, you can do it any way you feel comfortable. So I'm gonna take this ruler and I'm gonna score the rest of this plastic right here so I can remove this and start placing my stones on this little segment. Now, I'm gonna, take my ruler, I'm gonna place it right there where I've been going across and you can see where I've been going across because I'll just line up the ruler along this edge right here. Now, I just replaced this blade. This is extremely sharp. So you guys are barely gonna place that blade there and then I just, lightly score the plastic. Now, if you watch, I can peel away that last part. I just throw this away. Sorry about the crunch and crinkling, no, crinkly noise. And then when I pull this away, my canvas is ready to start placing my drills. So here's the fun part, you guys. Now, if you guys saw in the last video, I'm gonna zoom you guys out back here just a little bit. Let's see. Um, let's see if I can go in a little bit closer. So I like to do this in a way that makes it easier for me. And now you guys are gonna see this reflection here. I do use a magnifying light. I do this just because I like to, uh, it makes it easier to see. You don't have to buy one. A lot of crafters already own them. Um, I, I love mine. So this is the fun part. Now, like I said earlier, I like to use this tip. This is my favorite. And I'll tell you why this is my favorite. It's only a four stone placer, but as you're gonna see here in just a minute, I can place four at a time, which, you know, speeds up the process four times a little bit faster. 
And I'm gonna show you a little trick. So watch this. I'm gonna pick out a stone that I've got a lot of. So let's just go with P, which is um, a blue color. I just like to pour a good amount of my tray, shake it. And you don't have to violently shake it, as you can see. It hardly takes any shaking at all, but all the stones are gonna be uh, ready to place. Now, here's the cool part. Some people will slide their stones together. I don't. I just randomly pick up. There's my four. You can see the four diamonds right there. And then I'm just gonna place them. Ta da it's, it's seriously that easy. Now you can place one also. I just picked up one because I needed one at the end of that four. Now this one, I'm only gonna need two. I can pick up two with the same tip. Here's a single right there. Now you guys can see in just those couple seconds, I've already placed five, nine, 10, 11, 12 stones. It, uh, I love using the four, the four tip. Now sometimes you're gonna notice, oh, my diamond didn't stick. Just drop it, go ahead and drop it. Pick up a single one. Fill that space in right there. There's the three. There's a single. There's another single. We've got three up here. Three right there. And you guys, it, it does. It really speeds up the process. It makes it a lot easier to do. Um, Sometimes you're gonna see that, you know, your stone didn't pick up or your drill didn't pick up. It could be because you need to um, reload your tip. You guys, like I said, I swear by the good old pink stuff. Um, yeah, I do, I just, I love the pink stuff. So you guys, I hope that helped a little bit. Once again, remember, you can move these around. These are not permanently stuck here. You can use this as a, a line spa a straightener. If your uh, stones are crooked, you're, you, you will get it down. You will get it down. As you start to learn, it's kind of a very different craft. Um, but as you, you know, do it more and more and more, you'll actually be really surprised how fast and easy you can do it. Some people will roll their tips. I don't, I just place them. I just squarely place it down. I can use two, I can pick up three. The four tip, the four, the four uh, placer tip is my favorite. That's just, uh, that's just, you know, the way I do it, you guys. But as always, uh, I'm gonna pause you for just a second. So you guys, I hope you liked today's video. That's just my little tip on how I make diamond painting easier for me. It, uh, it may be a complete different process for you. We're all different. Uh, I do recommend trying it. If you've never done it, it's, it's so addicting and so soothing. But yes, just another warning. If you have kids that you want to teach this to, this thing can actually slice off a finger. Yes, this is a razor blade. It's extremely sharp. If you're going to use an X-Acto knife, please let the adults do it. Don't let a child pick up one of these. They are very, very sharp. Or you guys can use scissors, or you can just slice up from the bottom or the top. You can score it that way. I tend to peel it back in like a three inch width and I go from right to left. Now I'm almost done with this painting. You guys will see Sam, the little creepy character from Trick or Treat as soon as I get it done. You guys, thanks for stopping by Real Men Craft 2. I'm Richard. I'm gonna have another sip of coffee real quick. You guys, thanks so much for stopping by. And if you haven't done so already, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button right there. Ring that bell. Tap it to all so you get notifications of when I post another crafting content 
video. You guys, I'm Richard with Real Minecraft 2. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking a minute out of your day, or actually about 12 minutes here. I'll see you guys in the next one.